Welcome back, Hordlings. More Divinity Original Sin at hand. Uh, let's change my mind. Let's finish up this area here and dig up all these graves. Dig them up together. It looks like this section dead end, so I'd rather just finish this off and then head back this way where obviously there's... Oh, that sucks balls. go away. Put out the fires. That trap was gay. A log, a log, a wonderful, wonderful toy. A toy for a girl and boy. Just a shitload of poison over here. I don't like it. He's so crazy. Yeah. Always save before digging. Lug Lug knows that. some boring fucking graves that one's cool Metal chest. Maybe the keys around here somewhere. This seems to be broken. No shit, Sherlock! Secrets of the Scroll, okay. Better than more empty bones. Hmm. Two locked metal chesticles. 
Here lies Dodson, the finest dancer of them all. Here lies Emmy, Spider Slayer. Here lies Nazak, who also thinks your name is weird. Here lies Rocco. This is the last hole in Phil. Here lies Will Loundy. It's Loundy, not Laundry, dang it. Here lies Lady Cherin, whose steaming pies tempted all. <laughs> Here lies Schrodix. I'm not actually sure he's dead. Sir Jovel got here with the help of a shovel. Here lies Cat Jones. Curiosity killed her after all. Here lies Anne, the finest lady in the now I can send these chests to my uh, homestead, and they'll sit there for me until I Here figure out a way to open them. Lord Goldman, who lost his head to a literal-minded bridge tree. Uh, source on his journey. Wishing well. I don't know if I can pick these up, saying not enough space. Okay, never mind. That chesticle is at our homestead now. So is that one. Now I just need to figure out where the fucking keys are. Animal hide. Watch out for the poison! the wishing well I was already at. Yeah. Undead lupine horror. The undead lupine horror looks dead to me. Lies Marxism. He was full of great ideas that never worked out. Uh, maybe I killed that dog. I can't remember. Well, I already talked to them.
Yeah, that's the dude in the wintry world. I already came up this way. Oh, uh, let's see. A strange book claiming in the land of the fairy we can find an ancient scroll indicating the location of the last wear sheep. And the wishing well is down there, but I'm not sure how to conclude that. <laughs> Hell, let's head to the church. Ooh, some more graves to dig. And another lock chest. Might just have to have a lock picker for this shit. A pillow. Stand down with that weapon, or I'll lodge a formal complaint with the Council of Seven. Oh, no hard feelings. And well, hello there. Mortal! <laughs> well, surely I don't have to tell you how much better our life or death here in Novellian is compared to the dreadful eternity in the Hall of Echoes. Why are you ghosts hanging around here? Beats me. We're hardly the only Sicilians lost at sea, but there's some strange magic afoot of late. The dead can't seem to stay that way. We were all aboard a ship headed to Arata to fast sigh seal, but upon our return, the lighthouse failed to shine its light. We were lost upon the rocks and flung far and wide upon the tempestuous waves. And who are you exactly? Name's Ebenezer. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. You've probably been meeting some sad souls around here, but I sure as hell ain't one of them. In my life, my interests were soft leathers, southern vintages, sun-ripened afternoons, and ample flesh companions. Each sense was a source of new and familiar pleasures, and I luxuriated in them all. As a ghost, I admit that many of the pleasures evade me, but Valium still smacks of life more than the Halls of Echoes could. Half the fun was the fun of sharing your exploits with an eager ear, you know? Ah, what I'd give to find my little buddy again. The best listener I ever had, pleasure of regaling. Who's your little buddy? The ship that sunk had turned us all into phantoms. She was the home to a sweet old tomcat, Oscar by name, who'd curl up cozy as can be on my pillow. We shared some stormy nights while I scratched his chin and whispered stories of my youthful exploits. But I reckon cats don't stay on as ghosts after they pass, because the little furball is nowhere to be seen. That or the lucky bastard managed to survive the wreck. He was a scrappy old fellow after all. Tell me more about the Hall of Echoes! 
Ah, the final resting place for those deemed worthy of paradise. Paradise after life? Ha! Ah, look around! Paradise is the opening of your eyes, or in my case, gazing through the ectoplasm and seeing the wide, wild world around you. Can you imagine anything worse than being stuffed up into oblivion with the rest of the dead? Give me tragedy, chaos, beauty, and delight! My companions would do well to stop pining and start enjoying, no? Until we meet again. I think I know where your pussy cat is. There's a lot of ghosty ghosts over here. So it looks like I can just fucking warp around whenever I want to. I like it. Due to my little cubes. That's probably that icon's probably been sitting up there since the beginning of the game and my dumbass hasn't seen it. Oh, low resistances. I need better man at arms. I also need to find a rich person to buy all my shit. Let's return to the King Crab Tavern and talk to old Kitty Cat, whatever his name is, Sinkable Sam, aka Oscar, it appears. Oh, wait, he's not in here. He's off banging the female cat somewhere. There he is. Him and Maxine are having some brewskis. My friend returns. Until we meet again. My friend returns. Until we meet again. Back again. You used to be called Oscar, didn't you? Oscar, you say I haven't been called Oscar in ages. Boy, does that bring back memories. It's the name the ship's cook gave me when I was about to get in. I remember him rewarding me with bacon every time I caught another rat. And I remember listening to a fellow called Ebenezer who used to tell me the wildest stories. What can you tell us about Ebenezer? A strange bird, that one, used to indulge in every pleasure of life like there was no tomorrow. I guess there was no tomorrow for him, come to think of it. He would talk everyone's ears off about the delight of fine dining, his fascination with new fashions, about the elation of lovemaking, and so on and so forth. To me, though, never suspecting this revelation would be stored in my mind, he whispered of the shadow sides of his indulgent character. Fine dining, yes, on human flesh, even. New fashions, sure, even if they meant the annihilation of a species for its hide. Love making indeed, but sometimes the girls were very young and suffered delicate tortures. Some died in his special chambers, but would still be used. A strange bird, I'm sure as you agree. If you were a bit smaller, I might have caught him like I would a sparrow and rid the world of his hidden evils. Ow! Oh, okay. Bye. Well, he's gonna fucking die. For being a sick fuck. I don't know if there was a, uh, gate closer. I don't think there was. But we're gonna go ghost hunting because that's a dirty sons of bitch right there. Probably raping little kids, little pedophiliac and a necrophiliac it sounds like to boot. And while we are dirty bastards of mercenaries ourselves, we don't partake in necrophilia or pedophilia. Especially because Luglug -Lug has many, many children around the universe. And yes, I do mean universe. He has fucked the bitches in many different games. I got lots of children. I just have never met them. Yeah. 
Well, I'm probably gonna have to talk to this guy unless I just open fire, so let's see what he says. Strange indeed. Let's build up the party here so our mages aren't right up front. My friend returns. That's it, kiddo. Explore as much as you can while you got that youthful vim and vigor about you. Life is a wonderful thing. I heard about your sick past. What do you have to say for yourself, dingle asshole? How did you... How could you... Those are lies. It it was the ultimate pleasure. How could I hang back if there's even, even rare, even more exquisite elations to pursue? How could I let any morsel of satisfaction go untasted in this brief mortal coil? Surely you understand why I could never submit myself to the judgment awaiting me at the gates of the Heart of Echoes? No, no. I prefer to remain here for an eternity with a few of my senses, a few more of my delectable memories, than being risked cast into hell. If he stays here, his past will haunt him forever. At the Hall of Echoes, he may find a way to make up for his terrible deeds. Agreed. Ebenezer will not enjoy the judgment he faces, but crimes of such horror demand penance. Is that so? Is that what you really believe, Source Hunter? Well, forget divine judgment. I say we judge each other here and now. The better of us stays and the worse be done. Works for me, asshole! Spider summon! Say hello to my gigantic friend! I don't think you can burn ghosts, but... Oh, you're fucked, Ebenezer. You have, you have no hit points. Alright, so you like ice. We like fire. Froze my mage. Son of a bitch. I'm not sure where you're going, Ebenezer. But well, I'm fixing to teach you a lesson for fucking with Lug Lug and crew. Time to light up my life! Boom, bitches! That's what I gotta say about all that ice shit. Francis and Quentin. Brandon, that's a pedophilia name if I've ever heard one. I think ice would have hurt either. See ya! How you like them apples, bitch? Fucking perverts.
Damn. I was hoping for a key. Now I'm gonna have to hack this shit open. some shit to identify. Let's check it out. with fluids. We already got that book it seems and that lug lug for sale. If you find yourself in need of a sheet of paper while wandering the wilds or a village of illiterates, you can easily create your own. Find some scraps of wood, dampen them, and then fire them to create a perfectly useful leaf. Speak troll zombie edition. Ah, this is how to speak troll to the guy in the bridge. Yeah, fuck him, he's dead. All right, what do we have here? Air resistance, movement, doesn't give me intelligence though. I'd hate to lose a point of intelligence for the trade off of eight armor. Dexterity and bartering one. No thanks. Poison resistance, go fuck yourself. Crafting, gay. And, yeah. What a bunch of shit. Sell it all. There we go. Plus one strength. It's only level five, though. Again, doesn't give anything. A bodybuilding sarong? Give me a fucking break. Vicious sharp two-handed battle axe of dazzling. Okay, I like that. Send that to Medora Sour. Maybe she wants it. It takes more than throwing a pumpkin into a pot to make my grand fame pumpkin soup. Well, perhaps that's exactly what it takes. But still... You'll find some way to muck it up, no doubt. With armor, there's one golden rule. You can never have enough. So if you find scraps here and there, pick them up and tuck them down your shirt. An extra layer of leather and metal will be what it takes to stop the next arrow that's coming from you. Baking bread, we know all about that. literature we need to sort this shit out lock picking and telekinesis and lock picking and crafting strength plus one let's see who's got a good staff here 18 to 45 yeah, but it doesn't give constitution like mine does. 
We want ability bonuses, goddammit. Two-handed plus one and lock-picking plus one, and it's a belt. Okay, well, that's a belt there. Yeah, I take strength over bartering. Thank you very much. Dora doesn't have a belt, so we definitely want to give her that. Let's add speed. Bodybuilding plus one or strength plus one? Well, we'll go with what she has on because it's better armor, it's a higher level. We got a lot of shit to sell, peoples. Oh, what gate is that? Here's our church. I see a little church. That should be pretty easy to remember. Let's dig up some graves before we end the video. A well made voodoo doll. Probably for witchcraft people, but I'm going to pick that up because I haven't seen it. Lug, excuse you. Excuse me! Painting of a pig. <sighs> An undead battle mage. Some explosive fucking little skeleton dicks. Can't come that way. Alright, let's start a battle. This will be a good finisher to the episode. Whoa, okay, let's uh, start a battle that way. Boom, zombie! <laughs> oh, you little shit fuck! computer used fucking some sick AI on me.
what the fuck? I can't summon him anywhere. Just fucking run away. This is fuck. There you go. Get right in there. The Disintegrated. Burn to smithereens. It's fine by me. Burning asshole. You ever had a burning asshole? It sucks. Good night. <laughs> Excuse me. We will continue to heal up while the environment boils, burns, and farts poison gas clouds. Fuck it, let's get some rain going and finish this shit. I didn't want to fight you anyway. Undead Battle Mage. Coming to join the fray. He's a big shithead. Ninja! Fucking stun, baby. You should not stand in all that water. It's terrible for you. Done, frozen, burning, you just fucked. Watching me, motherfucker. I'll see you next episode, baby nuts. Wait a minute, what's this? Ooh, a wet chest. I like wet chesticles. Locked! To hell with you and back. Where the fuck is the key?
no key, but next episode we'll be entering the the chapel here, the church. And probably tearing shit up. And then we are gonna solve this murder case. See you soon.